All right, so it looked like Puff Daddy, he was at the Grammys, and he calls out the Grammys for discrimination, lack of diversity, and the lack of respect for the hip-hop culture, okay? So let's hear what Puff Daddy had to say. A lot of people was here for him, you know? And um, hopefully, you know, yeah, let, let's see what he got to say, okay? Um, DJ, I mean, uh, go ahead. So I say this with love to the Grammys. Um, Cause you really need to know this. Every year, y'all be killing us, man. Man, I'm talking about the pain. I'm speaking for all the artists here. The amount of time that it takes to make these records, to pour your heart out into it. You just want to eat and play. In the great words of Eric Badu, we are artists and we are sensitive about our shit. We are passionate. For most of us, this is all we got. This is our only hope. Truth be told, hip hop has never been respected by the Grammys. So I say this with love to the Grammys. Um, So, so right now, in this current set situation, it is not a revelation. This thing been going on. And it's not just going on in music, it's going on in film, it's going on in sports, it's going on around the world. And for years, we've allowed institutions that have never had our best interests at heart to judge us. And that stops right now. They're a nonprofit organization that is supposed to protect the welfare of the musical community. Wow. That's what it says on, on, on the mission statement. Yes. That's the truth. They work for us. We have the power. They're a nonprofit organization that is supposed to protect the welfare of the power. We decide what's hot. If we don't go, nobody goes. We don't support, nobody supports. Talk that we talk. control talk that talk. what's Woo! cool, we control what's hot, we control what your kids listen to, what they dance to, we control what's the video games, we control what's the video Now we're not going to solve this tonight, but it's going to take all of us to get this done. It's gonna take the artists and executives to recognize their power. And I'm standing here today, not to just bash y'all, because as I said, y'all nonprofit organization, we just need to get it right. And I'm here for the artists. Right. So sign me up. I'm here to I'm here to help make a difference and help us have a positive outcome. And I believe all my brothers and sisters out there will be willing to work. We decide what's hot. Michael Jackson's holding eight Grammys. He was dropping the Grammys. But you know why he was dropping the Grammys? Why he got eight Grammys? Because they never nominated him for Off the Wall. Yes, yes. yes. It wasn't his honest work. It was his revenge. He's like, you wanna fuck with me? I'm going to, I'm going to take your souls. <laughs> and then we had Thriller. My goal used to be about making hit records. Now it's about ensuring that the culture moves forward. My culture, our culture, the black culture. And, and for me to be worthy of getting this right, because we just want to see that an icon award, I have to use my experience to help make a change. And on that note, I'm finishing up. I've got 365 days.
And I want to dedicate this award to Michael Jackson for Off the Wall, Prince for 1999. Woo! Receiving an Icon Award, I have to use my experience to help make a change. All right, well, you guys heard it here. Hip hop, they control everything. What do you guys think about hip hop control everything? Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. It looks like hip hop has the power, says Puff Daddy Comet. Let us know what you guys think about this, and I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.